So before we start today's video, I just want to give a shout out to AutoDoc. If you've not heard of them, they're an online auto parts store who specialize in car parts. Similar to eBay, you can purchase your parts online and have them delivered to your front door. They cover a wide range of car manufacturers from Vauxhalls to Hondas to BMs to Audis, uh, even supercars like Porsche, Lamborghini and Ferrari. Uh, literally, if you need a door mirror, a uh, new set of tires, anti-roll bars, suspension, even a front wing, these guys literally have every part in stock. The great thing is these guys vouch that their parts are made of the highest quality and they guarantee their prices cannot be beaten. So you can pay via PayPal, credit or debit card which you're covered by a 14 day money back guarantee. They also ship worldwide so no matter which country you're watching this from it's most likely they will deliver to your front door. If you spend over £140 the delivery is free and turnaround times are really quick you're looking at one to two days for delivery obviously if the parts are in stock. So it's quite easy to get started you can install the AutoDoc application on your iOS or Android device, register an account and you're good to go to start ordering parts. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today we're filming a red C63 AMG coupe. Uh, the owner here, his name's Goki. Uh, I've met him a few times. Uh, we met at the VMAX. We've been VMAX Evolve, MG evolved. Meets. Quite yeah, a few yeah. Meets so summit, you know, quite yeah. a few meets now. Um, so yeah, this is a MSL tuned uh, C63. We'll go into more detail in a sec. So normal process. We're going to take the car for a spin. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in a sec. Old school V8, mm. classic AMG. This is the true AMG in my opinion. Okay. Like the AMG 45 and stuff, I don't think they're true AMG. Naturally aspirated, right? Yeah, this is naturally aspirated. Uh, normally, AMG coupes come with about 457 bhp. This one in particular is a performance pack. Okay. So you've got upgraded front brakes. They're really good compared to the old one because they had the old C63 C C as well. Yeah. This has got a... Um, it's got a few bits and bobs from the SLS as well, some internals. So the BHP oh, right. normally is bumped up to about 480, something like that. Okay. So it's got about 30 BHP more. But so that's this, for the performance that's pack, That's for right? the performance pack, yeah. And it comes with a like, half Alcantara steering wheel. Not quite a 507. Yeah. 507 is on another level, but mm. still pretty decent. It still stands out a little bit more. And um, this one has been tuned by MSL. It's just got the remap by MSL. Okay. So it's running about 520 to 530 brake. Wow, and uh, what's the torque figure on it? It's got like, I think near enough 500 foot pound, you know, it's like 450 wow. foot pound at all. How, how is it that Mercedes are able to produce so much torque from their V8 and the, the, the M3 is The M3 so couldn't. M3 is more about the high, high revving stuff. This is more low end grunt, which I reckon the torque you needed for everyday usage, man. So for me, I had the M3 and um, they lacked on the, on the torque side Ooh. of it. Ooh. Sorry to butt in there. Yeah. It feels like this car's actually got a turbocharger, like the way how it's does it Does it feel like a supercharger or a turbocharger? Well, I mean, oh, as in the effort, how effortless Yeah, it's yeah, it's so effortless, forward. man. It's, uh, it, I mean, you're on 1,000 revs, like 1,500 yeah, yeah. and it still pulls. It's just, yeah, really yeah, yeah, good. Everyday it? usage, man, you need this kind of torque. Yeah. And, um, and it's just, it's a, Big old engine in it, it's a 6.3 as well, so wow, if you want to put it to Sports Plus or anything. <laughs> Break harder, the harder you break, the quicker it downshifts as well. Okay, I like that. 
Gearbox is on point. Gearbox is lovely, man. And it's not a dual clutch, right? No, it's, it's just an auto. Six-speed auto, not seven-speed auto. Okay. Straight away, guys. Yeah, really nice to drive. Doesn't so for a 2012, it feels like really like modern. Feels yeah, and it's so refined. It, yeah. it feels so good in the hands, like. Yeah, listen to that, though. <laughs> So when I met uh, Goku, I was like, I recognise his face from somewhere. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you had a YouTube video on the E92. Yeah, right? I've got a YouTube video going years back. I had the E60 M5, E92 M3, E46 M3s. I'm a big M car guy. Yeah. And I only just got into the AMGs like in the last couple of years. Okay. So, um, so, so, what, well, how was the transition? You know, bro. Uh, you, know, did you, you know what it was it? like. I just. I was always, I always liked the looks of it. I didn't know, people said that it was lumpy, it didn't drive good and stuff. So I- 63, I, yeah? Yeah, the C63. And I just got into it. Oh. No, I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got into it, man. I was just, be, I fall in love with the car more and more. I've had it for almost a year now, this one. I had another white one, but I rear off. You had another white one? I had another white one, I rear off, and then, I and then I just, yeah. yeah and I'd right off. I just smashed it straight into a roundabout, so it was, also oh, the E92 you're talking about. Mm. So the E92, man, the rel rel reliability was a big problem for me, man. They were breaking down on me all the time. Yeah. And I was just so sick and tired of like spending money on maintenance, you know. What model did you have and what year? So I had the E92 M3 2008 with about 100,000 miles. I blew okay. up the engine on that, the rod bearings went. And it was not just that, I had an M6 as well. The maintenance on v10, that was crazy, yeah? the V10, yeah. yeah. Maintenance on that was crazy too. And I just wanted something reliable and I knew AMGs mm. from what I heard. They were just reliable. And I've had this car for nearly a year yeah. and I drive it very spiritedly, like I push it all the time and it never goes never goes wrong. One thing I've got to say to you though is yeah. that you did have a 2008 model. Oh right, yeah, it was a high mileage and stuff, yeah. yeah. Early so, model. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And another thing is, um, you're saying it had 100k, did you buy it on 100k? Yeah, I bought it on 100k. So, miles, so yeah. we don't know what the ownership exactly, was like before exactly. with true. the BMs and even these Mercedes, you've yeah. got to have a full service history, you know, you need to know that yeah, the cars have been maintained yeah. well. But I can understand what you mean, like. Yeah. But in general, in general. Wow, man, that is like seriously quick, man. But like you say, yeah, it's more like a NA, like a supercharged, like, you know. Yeah. Obviously, it's NA. Very, very effortless. Feels weird being in the passenger seat. Hasn't got the exaggeration of the gear shift like the newer C63. It's a bit more seamless in this. Wow, like, so much torque. It's got a lot of torque. <laughs> and it's got LSD? No, this is the one oh, that's not got LSD. LSD. Okay. I wish it did, but it doesn't. But yeah, now so far, it feels really, really comfortable, man. Is it, yeah? Like, effortless, yeah. It's, it's like, it's a bit of a, it's refined, isn't it? It's, it yeah. feels so. I don't know. It's just, the, the wheel doesn't feel overly heavy. Yeah. Uh, the cabin just looks beautiful. You've got the carbon fiber trim. Yeah. Um, like, you know. <laughs> you know that you're in something decent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And comparing it to, like, my car, which is a 2011, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's nice, man. Like I, like I always say, guys, you know, I love the, uh, the, the Mercedes uh, interiors. Uh, looks on these are beautiful as well. Doesn't feel as evolving from the wheel, does it? Like you can't. It's not like a heavy planted feel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, different to the to the to the BM, but I think these are more or less as capable as the M3s. I think yeah. when they did the update, because I think the end introduction model of the C63 yeah. uh, was significantly slower around the track. But when they did the update. Um, yeah, they did an update, didn't they? On the track, Which I think was... the M3 does does clip it. The, the M3 just is a bit better on the track because I had an M3 too, and it seems a bit more, a bit more stable around corners. Yeah, but this um, in a straight line, I think this will be an M3 in a straight line. It just feels like yeah, so much lighter. Than the... Very safe. 
that you don't want to let off like you can yeah, the fuck yeah. down innit? I've got to say the Mark 7 Golf R yeah. is the most stable car that I've felt at speed uh, yeah. at speed yeah. yeah it's almost like there's just weights sitting on each corner oh man this is like this must be so fun to drift yeah man <laughs> just easy but no LSD of course wow man you cannot get bored that sound can you definitely not It's a fast car, man. Seriously fast car. I mean, like, you know, Mercedes, they say they're big, brute cars, and I thought that... Um, you thought it was going to be sluggish, like? Yeah, I thought it was going to be a, feel a bit more of a... It does feel like a muscle yeah, car. Yeah, it's a big it does, power, yeah. but it does feel like a very nimble and sharp car. Yeah. Um, very effortless on the wheel, man. Like I already said, it's not... Got like a um, uh, the wheel isn't weighted, yeah. So it's not a struggle to like um, you know uh, turn the wheel. It makes it very effortless, but it feels precise, man. Obviously, you know it's only a short drive as well, guys. So I'm yeah. not really gonna be able to see what it's really like. But I'm gonna take it to a road now. That um, yeah, second and third. Real, you get that real drill pull right in it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's the sound, isn't it? The highlight of these cars yeah. is the engine, isn't it? Yeah. It's the main thing. Obviously, the, the interior and the build quality is obviously another thing as well. Uh, the, the build quality is like just on another level. Uh, this doesn't feel like we're in a car uh, of this age right now. Uh, I could easily daily drive this and be happy, man. Yeah, what's good about this car is if you want to take it on the motorway, there's no drone, nothing. Mm. You can you can go long distances without getting tired or bored. Yeah. And then if you want to like, you know, truck in some country roads, yeah. You can have fun with it too, you know? Yeah. Listen to that, man. Brakes are brilliant as well. Yeah? Yeah. Th that's why if you're shopping for a C63, guys, you have to you have to get one with a performance pack because the brakes are really important on the performance. You need them brakes. You get upgraded, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're much better because I, I had the um, a, a regular C63 coupe mm. and the brakes were a bit rubbish on them, to be fair. And these seats really hug you as well. Yeah. It feels like you look how nice they look, man. I think they look better than the new ones, to be honest. Don't you think? Yeah, I, I love these seats, man. I love the way they look. Yeah, they look well nice, man. Yeah. It's got a lot of character, this car has. A yeah, lot man. Of character. It, it grows on you, man. Honestly, um, from, from owning it to now, it's like I, I, there's, I fall in love with it more and more, to be honest. Yeah. And I'll be honest, like I wasn't always a massive Mercedes fan. I wasn't too. Honestly, it's only I when I was too. younger I started. Um, I remember borrowing um, a C220. Yeah. Um, I well, I even owned one in the end, but I drove the previous C220 and then I drove a new one. And yeah, it's just the ease of the drive, man. And, yeah, man. And the level of the it? level of quality. Um, it really, like you said, it makes you fall in love with them, man. It, it's beyond just the dynamics, but yeah. I mean that's not to say that it's not a dynamic car. Yeah. In a straight, okay, compared to the M4, let's say, raised yeah. a few M4s. Stock. Stock one, it beats the stock M4. In this tune state, yeah? In this tune state. Yeah. But an M3 with a remap, M3 with a remap is quicker than this by a bit. By a bit, yeah? By a bit, yeah. Mm. I, I reckon uh, from a 40 roll, it gives me about three car lengths to have about 160 mile an hour. Okay. I need to probably take out a manual, don't I? Yeah, you want to put it in Sports Plus? Yeah, it might as well, isn't it? But then again, so I like it, it's really agile, man. It's a real agile car. A Jurassic Park Lane. Yeah, so much character, man. Like, you can't get bored of that. Yeah, man. You couldn't get in this car and um, not appreciate uh, what the Mercedes is. That sound is just unreal, isn't it? Yeah. Got a little stretch down there that I normally take the car. I just want to get a feel for, like, if it makes me feel confident. Uh, obviously, it's the worst weather in it, so it's not really 
ideal. But so far, I mean, like the throttle's really on point. Um, and I, I am feeling a little confident. It kind of does dart, but you're saying that when you push it a little hard, it may throw me off a bit, you said. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the weather's definitely not great, is it? your foot to the floor and then just let go of the brake. are really good on this right so guys we're gonna have to end the video there um goki thank you for coming down and uh, letting me have a drive uh, first time i've actually yeah been able to drive uh, one of these cars properly as well um and what do i say i mean 
Uh, definitely slightly surprised. It definitely inspires more confidence than I thought. And um, yeah, as I expected, a brilliant daily driver. And um, basically, yeah, it's very similar to the new C63. I mean, the C63, the new one does sound loud, but it hasn't got that same engine sound, does it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's, it, it it's a more like slap, yeah. isn't it, in this car? Yeah, I mean, new AMGs are great. Yeah. They're really nice, but this is a uh, is the, the NA this is the real is like, real deal, real yeah, deal, with the, with yeah. the engine noise wise. Yeah, they're yeah. quick cars, though, make no mistake. Yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, Thanks, guys. Bye.